All right, so today I'm going to start you off with a crazy fact. A did you know that you're going to go around and share with everybody, your grandmother, your best friend, your pet dog, everybody. And it's about a man who most of you have had inside of you. Panic not. It was enjoyable. Or was it? Maybe it left you with a bad taste in your mouth. Maybe it left you with a bad story on the back end. Either way, the name will ring a bell. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, did you know that the world-famous Taco Bell restaurant was named after, well, its first owner, the legend, Glenn Bell. Born in 1923, Glenn Bell was a pretty cool guy. Uh, He was a U.S. Marine, and after he served in the Marines, where he was a cook, he wanted to open a hot dog stand. He called it Bell's Drive-In in San Bernardino, 1948. He sold hot dogs. He sold hamburgers. Now, he's a California guy, so after that, he goes on to start selling tacos at a taco stand named Taco Tia, and these tacos sold for 19 cents. Now, between 1954 and 1955, he opened three Taco Tias, so he started to see how expanding the taco business could work. He eventually sold those and opened four new restaurants called El Taco, with his partner in the Long Beach area, Long Beach, California, that is, where the Shredders play. He partnered with a fellow named John Gallardi, who was originally hired as a part-time worker and manager. Get out of here. Gallardi also later founded the Wiener Schnitzel hot dog chain that we just talked about last week on the show. This is an international party right now. You got Wiener Schnitzel and Taco Bell born under the same hut of El Tacos. Incredible. So fast forward to 1962, uh, Glenn Bell decides to go solo, and he sold El Tacos to his partners, and he opened the first Taco Bell in Downey, California. Two years later, Bell franchised his restaurant in 1964, and the company grew like crazy. Between 1964, when he started franchising, and 1978, when he sold it, they had 868 restaurants. That's incredible. That's incredible thing. In 14 years, this guy opened 868 restaurants. He then sells the whole empire in 1978 to the Pepsi company for $125 million in Pepsi stock, which from 1968 to now has gone through the roof. So that is the founding story of Taco Bell. Never forget that next time you go to Taco Bell, And you're enjoying yourself a little cheesy gordita crunch, washing it down with a Baja Blast. Show some love to Glenn Bell, the founder of it. Ring a bell for the man. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment, guys. We got a simple deal. Me and you, every time you come on the show, you learn something. And every time you come on the show, I earn something. You know, cheers to that. It's a great relationship me and you got going. Cheers. And uh, a big thank you to a wonderful, world-renowned artist known as The Chief who designed this Detroit Lions mug. I think it's beautiful. And to our sponsors of today's show, Royal Retros. Learn a little something and keep sports history alive at royalretros.com. I'll see you guys here next time on The Charlie Boot Show.